Hey what's up guys, today in this video I am going to compare Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic with its counterpart from last year, Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. And in the end of it all, I will also compile these findings and tell you why you should buy one or the other. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is the hardware possessed by these smartwatches. On the outside, they look and feel very similar, but there are some subtle changes. Overall, the shape and look is similar, but Galaxy Watch 4 is thinner and lighter. Lighter. The buttons on Galaxy Watch 3 are round and protruding, but on Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, they are flat and conforms to the shape of the watch. Also, where Galaxy Watch 4 has a matte black paint, Galaxy Watch 3 exterior is shiny. However, the biggest change is in the internal specifications, where Galaxy Watch 4 has received a major upgrade in terms of processing power. For Galaxy Watch 4 lineup, Samsung developed a new 5 nanometer Exynos W920 processor, which is way ahead and faster than the Exynos 9110 10 nanometer processor present in Galaxy Watch 3, but also present in Galaxy Watch Active 2 before that and Galaxy Watch before that. And with this new processor has come the much needed performance boost needed in Galaxy wearable lineup. The new chip is 1.25 times faster in terms of CPU performance and 10x faster for GPU performance as compared to the previous one. RAM and internal storage also got a boost in Galaxy Watch 4 as now we get 16 GB of internal storage and 1.5 GB of RAM compared to the 8 GB or 4 GB of internal storage based on the models and 1 GB of RAM in Galaxy Watch 3. Then there is a newer display in Galaxy Watch 4 lineup with resolution of 450 by 450 as compared to 360 by 360 on Galaxy Watch 3. Galaxy Watch 4 also has a much improved sensor technology but I will talk about that more in the health and fitness section of this video so stay tuned. Moving on, the one thing that excited everyone about Galaxy Watch 4 was the switch from Tizen OS to Wear OS and the reason for that was quite simple. Galaxy watches for years had great hardware and software but they lacked in the app ecosystem. While you could still find some big names on the Galaxy store for Tizen OS, the majority of the apps and developers were just not interested in Tizen OS as a platform to develop apps for. As a result, these powerful Galaxy watches struggled with the lack of high quality useful app ecosystem. But all of that changed with the introduction of Wear OS in Galaxy Watch 4. Now the user of these watches will have access to the larger app ecosystem as well as availability of Google Apps like Google Maps, YouTube Music, Google Keep on the Galaxy Watch. About Google Assistant, Samsung stated that they will eventually launch it on Galaxy Watch 4 but that hasn't happened at the time of making this video so we don't know when it will happen in the future. But fingers crossed for that. Samsung has done a great job when it comes to the look and feel of the software on Galaxy Watch 4. It looks pretty similar to the previous Galaxy Watches which were running on Tizen OS. So long time Galaxy Watch users will feel right at home using this new operating system. But before I move on, I want to make something very clear here. Tizen OS app ecosystem is no slouch either. If there are no official apps there, you can always find very good third party apps there like YouTube, Twitter and Maps. And some of the big names like Uber and Spotify did have their official apps for their platform. So it wasn't all bad. It's a perfectly capable app ecosystem and I've been using Galaxy watches for the past 4 years and never thought of switching to Wear OS smartwatch because Galaxy watches were just so incredible and feature rich by themselves that everything else paled in comparison. But now with Wear OS, they are a formidable player in the smartwatch scene and truly come close to competing with Apple and Apple's app ecosystem for watchOS. While Galaxy Watch 3 did have pretty complete fitness suite and health tracking features like heart rate measurement, SPO2 sensor, ECG and blood pressure monitoring, Galaxy Watch 4 adds on top of these features with snoring detection, body composition analysis and sleep blood oxygen level monitoring. Samsung has also updated the sensors found at the back of these watches with newer tech and improved tracking. The most important addition to Galaxy Watch 4 sensors suite is the bioelectrical impedance analysis sensor that allows users to monitor their body pad levels among other things. And just as before, ECG and blood pressure monitoring works in select countries only so don't be surprised if you don't find them on your Galaxy Watch 4. In the end, it comes down to which one of these watches should you pick up this holiday season. And here is the thing, even though Galaxy Watch 3 is a year old smartwatch and is running on Tizen OS, it is a perfectly capable smartwatch with tons of features and apps in the Galaxy App Store. It has a very robust health and fitness suite with all the basics covered and Samsung has promised 3 years of software support as well. 
from the release of the watch so it will continue to get software updates for the next two years so here is who should buy galaxy watch 3 if you are someone looking to get your first smartwatch to go with your android phone look towards galaxy watch 3 if you want a fully featured smartwatch on a budget Galaxy Watch 3 is the option for you. If you don't really care about Wear OS and the app ecosystem and just want a good companion watch to keep an eye on your notifications and make and receive occasional calls, Galaxy Watch 3 is the watch for you. And here is why you should Galaxy Watch 4. If you're someone who really cares about Wear OS and the vast app ecosystem it enables on Galaxy Watches along with the Google Apps, Galaxy Watch 4 is a watch for you. Or if you have a specific fitness related requirements like body composition measurement and snoring detection and want the latest technology, then Galaxy Watch 4 might be the watch for you. So with that, I will conclude this video and I hope that this video helps you in making your purchase this year and if it does, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.